a dinosaur. Rawr. Adventures in Japan. Hello, you wonderful people, and greetings from the downtown Bodhi River here in the heart of Osaka, Japan. This is one of the coolest places to hang out, a lot of shops, and you can never be too sure that you're not going to see something really weird and strange. So it's not too strange that next to the world famous Running Man Glico Man sign in Sinsayabashi Suji, which is the shopping street right next to the downtown Bodhi River. There's a strange and unusual pop-up restaurant. You just gotta keep on walking straight and you'll find what you're looking for. You just have to go in a line with a bunch of other people to get there. It might kind of sneak up on you like a clever girl, but here you have the Jurassic World Cafe. An entire pop-up restaurant dedicated to Jurassic World, but not the first Jurassic World, the second Jurassic World, because they got the volcano exploding, and, and that's just in, insane to me. Yeah, it's only open until September 30th, because this cafe is in a building called The Guest. They take random properties, like anime, cartoons, movies, and turn them into restaurants for short periods of time. This place is super easy to find because it's under a super cute candy shop with kawaii girls outside. Let's go upstairs and grab some food. It looks like they're expecting a lot of people to be here. Of course, the movie's been out for about two months now out here in Japan. If you wanted to, you could dress up like a dinosaur. I can finally de-evolve like in that Super Mario Brothers movie. Rawr! I'm a dinosaur. Things... I can't put things close to my face because you just get the side of it. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. Rawr! They also have a little store. Something that John Hammond would definitely want in his park because his whole park was merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. This is the local baseball team out here, the Hashing Tigers dressed as dinosaurs. And you got novelizations of the Jurassic Park World movie. The second one, not the first one. However, there's a feeling of dread constantly in here. It's about loud, booming music, so if you have young kids, they'd probably be pretty scared. When you sit down, there are rules. The one thing that I can tell you is that they give you a placemat, which is just the poster of the movie <laughs> that you can eat over. Out of everything I see here, I've eaten hamburgers before. I don't think I want some sausage. I really think I want that volcano curry. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it's not super, super hot. I think I might die. It's just a little strange to see pterodactyls and, you know, blue over there, the raptor, just looking at me while I'm eating. Not to mention the trailer for the second movie is playing right behind me as I'm eating, so it's, it's a little unnerving to be haunted by dinosaurs while I'm just trying to eat my food. I feel like Chris Pratt's gonna be like eyeing my food. Pretty sure since this is licensed by Universal Studios that, you know, they're kind of promoting for Universal Studios Japan out here too. You know, it's a real volcano when they put a backdrop of a volcano behind the volcano. I kind of feel bad about doing this, but you know, can't eat the toothpicks. It's curry. Also, spoiler alert, the volcano blows up in the movie. Theme restaurants, they can be pretty hokey, they can be pretty cheesy. This place was pretty bare bones. Food was all right, just blasting music the whole time, and well, you got dinosaur themed food, but uh, I don't know if this is something I'd go to again, but it was unique, and since I've always liked Jurassic Park, and maybe not the other movies so much as Jurassic Park, I figured I better go see it, see what it's like, see what the food's like, and it was so-so. As I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day and watch out for raptors. Right.